Hello, this is Team 12. Our main paper is Stargen V2, Diverse Image Synthesis for Multiple Domains. Let's first start with the problem we will address. Our main paper's topic is increasing the visual quality, diversity, and scalability of image-to-image -image translation. So our paper deals with the task of multi-domain image-to-image -image translation. This paper deals with this problem because a good image-to-image -image translation model should provide both the diversity of generated images and scalability over multiple domains. But existing methods satisfy only either of them. The first paper is Stargen. In previous studies, to support n-domain translations, it needs n by n minus 1 generators like this. But Stargen uses a single generator only to produce images. During the training session, an image and a selected target domain are inputted into the generator for each iteration. For example, a facial attribute such as hair color is inputted for some iterations, and a facial expression such as happiness is inputted for other iterations. By repeating this, the generator can be trained on the multiple, multiple domains. The results of Stargen are clearly better than those of previous studies. Generated images look quite natural. The second paper is MWGAN. MWGAN uses a Balsenstein distance to make a generated domain distribution close to a target distribution. Green is a source, red is a target, and orange is a generated domain distribution. As you can see, MWGAN can only produce images near the target distribution. MWGAN produces more natural images. Even with edge images, it can produce facial images. And it works well on the style transfer of paintings. Our main paper is Stargen V2. Unlike previous Stargen, it used the style code instead of explicit domain label. The style code is fully generated by the mapping network app with latent code and extracted from the reference image by uh, style encoder E. The results look like real images and it can also produce animal pace well. Next, let us talk about the reasons why we chose that particular paper. The first one being that is the most recent state-of-the-art approach. It was accepted to CVPR 2020, and they also released their data set and their code less than a week ago. So our team will be one of the first ones to try to replicate the paper. The next one that is actually solves the two major problems that we mentioned before, that is the diversity and multiple domain scalability. It also performs good on the unseen data. The image that you see on the right is actually a data set that it wasn't trained on, that is Flickr Face HQ, and the Stargun 2 still can produce the cohesive results. Next one is that it used the human evaluation to compare the method with the baseline approaches, and majority of votes were actually given to Stargun 2 as the one that produced the most realistic images. They also released a new data set that is very different from Celeb Faces, which allows them to create new methods of evaluation in both inter and intra domain settings. And last but not least, it actually provides all the data and all the source code, so it's easier to replicate. Now let's see some comparisons with the models mentioned in the paper. The last column that is Stargen2 produces the most HQ pictures, while it's the only one that successfully changed the hairstyle from scratch. That is the only one that generated ears, if you look at the last two rows. And lastly, let us enjoy some visualizations of the animal data set transformation. And the next, we're going to discuss the improvement approach. Considering our three papers, we decided to improve generator of Stargen version 2. Before that, have a look at process of the generator in those three GANs. The generator of Stargen, that version 2, gets image and tag of style to put on as input data. Thus, generator must divide and deal with information of which style to suit on. This process demands generator much work in the learning process comparing other models. Next, 
MWN focused on more complex relations on each separated domains by multi-marginal distance. But this requires its generators for each domains, so computation becomes more expensive for each step of learning process. Third, for the generator of Stargen version 2, it became more simple that it just synthesizes given vectors so that it can more concentrate on basic role of generating. But it still is not considering complex relations of each domains as much as MWGAN. To approach the MMW distance on Stargen version 2, there is main consideration of which that MMW requires multiple generators. In that case, we decided to execute each learning process exactly one time for each style while updating inner domain loss and regard that as one box process. This way we can calculate MMW distance. But approaching it this way isn't exactly the properly approaching the MMW distance. Maybe the former learned style can affect more than the latter one or opposite. To minimize this concern, we will repeat the block process in each different permutations of styles until we do that for all possible permutations. We expect generator can have performance of each synthesizing as much as original one of Stargen version 2 and also improved in the respect of inner domain factors, also interdomain factors. For our project, we use the same data sets as our main paper. We will use the Celebe HQ dataset, which consists of celebrity images. This dataset consists of 30,000 images and 40 domains. We will also use the AFHQ dataset, which consists of animal faces. This dataset contains 15,000 images and three domains. Finally, our weekly plan is as follows. For, for the first two and a half weeks, Juno will reveal the codes of Stargen V2 and MWGAN in detail, and the other three will each replicate and test the model from one paper. For the next half week, everyone will prepare for the progress update presentation while discussing how to implement our improved model. For week 12, we will upload the progress update presentation and start implementing the improved model. For the plan afterwards, we will go into more detail when we present our progress updates. Thank you.